The holidays behind us, Washington is now looking ahead to the southern border. Today, U.S. House Speaker Mike Johnson and a group of Republicans visited the border at one of the busiest entry points in the country, Eagle Pass, Texas. Johnson's imploring the president to act now, calling the border situation a crisis. Congress will hit the issue head on next week as it prepares to start work on a new bill that will make the nation's border security a top priority. But from the perilous banks of the Rio Grande at the border to the serene streets here in southwest Florida, the border crisis is also hitting close to home. Right now, there are miles of razor wire along the Rio Grande, but people are still crossing the border and they're seeking refuge. The Justice Department now wants the wires gone, saying they pose serious on-the-ground consequences for Border Patrol agents. White News reporter Roderis Richardson speaks to one man who, in his quest for a better life, faced the harrowing ordeal of being trapped in the wires. Crossing the Rio Grande River is a matter of life or death. At least that's how one undocumented immigrant in Florida describes it. The moment he fled Venezuela and crossed the Rio Grande River. He says one woman got caught in it and her stomach cut open from the wires. In her arms was her three-month-old baby. The same type of razor wires the White House said on Tuesday is also hurting agents trying to patrol the area, calling on help from the Supreme Court to allow agents to remove it. But Republican Party leaders in southwest Florida disagree. Federal government was delegated by the states the authority and the responsibility to secure our borders from invasion and incursion. They're not doing it. Congress and or the president failed to do their job. The states have an obligation and a right under their own constitutions to be able to take up where the federal government has been lacking. As Biden seeks a plan that would include more law enforcement, more judges, asylum processors for cities that are seeing an influx of undocumented immigrants, Southwest Florida Republicans say the solution starts with closing the border. Most of us that come here from another country, we come here because it's a better way of life. Texas is doing what they need to do. Florida is doing what they need to do. And with or without the razor wires, undocumented immigrants say they wish they had a quicker pathway to seek asylum without risking their life. In Fort Myers, Rodarius Richardson, Wink News. Operations at four border locations have been closed since last month are expected to reopen Thursday. The locations were closed when staff was needed to assist Border Patrol in other locations that were seeing an increase in people coming across.